System. We're going to establish uh, the three P's. That, those are pressure, posture, and position. Anytime something goes wrong in wrestling, it's because you don't have one of those established. If you have all three, you will be successful even against a totally non-compliant person. Right? So this is uh, an operating system. It's also evaluation criteria. It's a thing that is always true. Wrestling has always been true from, uh, you know, there's like Egyptian, Stella's with images of wrestlers on it, and I can look at it, and I know exactly what I'm looking at. You can look at it, and we know exactly what you're looking at. Uh, it's always been true, it always will be true. So when you see historical wrestling that violates these fundamental principles, ignore it. It's no longer a useful source, um, because it's always been the case. I can grab any wrestler anywhere in the world and show them what we're doing here, and they'll go, eh, it's pretty good, we do it a little different, but yeah, that makes sense, right? Um, and if that's not the case, move to a different source. So the first thing we're going to do is establish pressure and posture. How are we going to do that? We're going to do that through a competitive drill. So um, I'm going to have you put your left foot forward. Uh, I'm going to engage my core a little bit. I'm going to look at your head. There's a top, there's a plane to your forehead, and there's a plane to the top of your head. And where those two intersect, I'm going to highlight where that is on my own head. Do that now real quick. <laughs> This is the headbutt spot. Uh, this is where you can apply the most force with your nice round skull so that you don't give yourself a skull fracture. Uh, I'm going to take that spot, and Annette's going to take her spot, and we're going to put a pad between it. And then here's the drill. I'm going to try to drive Annette back, and that's going to try to drive me back. I'm probably going to succeed, because I, as previously stated, I weigh about 210 pounds. Uh, but it's going to allow, start driving with me. What it's going to allow us to do is to start feeling out. Driving, driving. Yeah. See, and that can actually generate quite a bit of force when her posture is correct. Correct posture allows us to generate pressure. Um, we're going to run it, then we're going to talk about it, and then we're going to run it again. Okay. Run it at your own pace. If your neck. <laughs> okay. Listen up. Listen up. <laughs> If your neck hurts, tuck your chin. Yeah. Fix your chin and tuck first. If your neck is hurting too much, ask your partner to stop, fix your posture, run it again. We're not trying to strain our neck here. Start to drive. This is competitive. This is competitive. Drive your partner. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no, no. It makes sense. It's just like under yeah. Yeah. And then they like, keep your head down. As soon as your head starts to go back a little, you have to back. Yeah. 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 Okay, so you've got to sit down a little more into your position to have your left foot go forward, and then all of that force is being <laughs> It's just EVA foam pads hot glue together. Do it on the door frame, it's great. <laughs> All right, what worked? When were you able to drive people? When you got lower than there. Yep. When yeah. you got lower than there. Yeah. Um, specifically, not blocking out the rear leg. What has to, in order to be able to generate pressure, your rear leg cannot be blocked against the ground, right? Right. So, Toys, toys pointed forward, toes pointed forward. Toes pointed forward, uh, that alignment. I like getting my rear heel off the ground. That's where I can get some thrust, right? And then if I'm being driven, I can put that down and stop it for a second and then I can start driving again. What's the center of all this? What's the nerve center or the core piece of all of your body? Alignment. Alignment with what? Your spine. Your spine. Your spine. Your spine. All the way. Yeah, screw it like your hips. Hips. So what I want you to do, nail it. So your spine goes into what's the, the foundation of your whole body 
is your pelvis. That's one of the reasons why I suffer. Right. <laughs> I have a strain in my lower back that's pulling on my pelvis, messing with my pelvic alignment. Um, so your pelvis, you can think of it like a cup. Uh, things that matter, height. My pelvis relative to the other person's pelvis. Right? If my pelvis is lower, I'm going to be able to get up under them and drive them. Right? Uh, the spinal relationship with the pelvis. If I let my structure collapse and my hips are too far forward and I don't have a nice straight line from where I'm applying pressure through my pelvis through the ground, uh, it's, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt your neck. It's going to prevent you from being able to drive very successfully. Um, we talked about toes pointed at the other person. Those are, uh, the toe direction is actually an indicator of your pelvic alignment, right? It all runs back up to the pelvis. Is my pelvis aimed at the person? If I start to turn and my pelvis is no longer aimed at the person, is this a strong position to push from? Nope. And then the final thing is the, the, uh, the tilt, right? So relative height. Am I aimed at the person, so the, the side to side alignment? And then am I tilted in or back? If I start pulling my, if I start tilting my pelvis backwards, can I drive? If I tilt it way too far forward, what happens to my head a little bit? Yep. Your spine. My spine is gonna start hurting. So I'm not actually, it's I'm relying on my neck muscles to hold this rather than just stacking forehead through spine through pelvis to ground. So now I want you to run this again. We're going to run for another couple of minutes. Uh, and I want you to really focus on your pelvic alignment. Pelvis is the whole deal. If you're getting driven, check it out. Am I lined up? Am I higher or lower? Am I to the side? Fix your pelvis, and the rest of it's going to fall in place. All right. Good for you. Uh, so now we're going to move on to the version of this drill that matters for wrestling by looking at once you have pressure and posture. Did, oh, oh. did everyone's posture improve? Yes. Were you able to feel the improvement? Yeah. Especially with like the feet behind that. Yep. Okay. So this is a that that method is a way of checking your posture that doesn't require me sitting there like you know the the ancient kung fu teacher hitting you, telling you to change things. Right? You just you just do it. Right? And that's how you get better at it. Just do it. 